News. When it comes to watching the evening news, I want people to know that it's still possible to finish your workday, simply turn on the TV, and get completely up to date. Primetime news anchors from decades past are still remembered because people could trust what they heard and what they saw each night. And that's my goal every night, and I take that job very seriously. This is where I belong, and I'm very happy to be the one keeping you informed. Watch Patrick Hushin, evenings on One American News. News used to be about giving the facts. Now, not so much. Call us old school, but we're all about credibility in our news. No agendas, no favorites. News the way it's supposed to be. It's your nation, your news. Your nation, your news. One American News Network. Welcome back. I am joined by the executive director of Post Sustainability. I know it's called the Post Sustainability Institute, Rosa Quarry. She joins me from Northern California. Rosa, welcome to the show. Glad to be with you. Thanks. You know, it's so exciting to have you. I am with Citizens Against Agenda 21. You know that. And I did not explain Agenda 21 today because I was going to have you on the show. So could you briefly explain Agenda 21 to those who may have heard it from me, but they still don't get the message? Sure. Well, Agenda 21, United Nations Agenda 21, is the biggest public relations scam in the history of the world. It's the uh, it's the blueprint, it's the action plan to inventory and control all resources, natural and human resources, on the planet. It's an inventory and control plan. It's global, but it's implemented locally. And it's right there in your town, wherever you live. Rosa, why are we seeing so many apartments going up in our areas, in our suburbs? As a matter of fact, you'll talk to a lot of people and they'll say, all of these apartments, they're good. I used to live in an apartment, they'll tell me. But we're seeing so many of these so-called stack them and pack them. Even here in California, we're starting to see units that are like 200 square feet or less. What's going on? Yeah. Well, what you're looking at now, of course, a lot of people live in apartments, they live in condos, and that's cool, that's great. If that's the way you want to live, fabulous, right? But uh, what we're talking about is smart growth, and smart growth is high-density development in your cities, in the centers of your cities, that is often subsidized with your tax dollars, and uh, oftentimes is required by your zoning. So uh, when you talk about smart growth, you're talking about ground floor retail with multiple stories of residential on top of that. And oftentimes when that gets constructed, it also requires a reconstruction of your streets and your transportation system and often is subsidized with federal tax dollars through grants. So uh, the main plan is to, is to move people out of the rural and suburban areas into high density concentrated dwellings where they can be more easily managed, controlled, and surveilled. So why do they want to do this to the American people? So many people ask me, is this some type of plot? I try to explain to them that Agenda 21 is no longer an agenda. It is right here in your face. And I, and I try to explain to them, again, this is not about um, trying to give you a place to live and work and have fun. This is a diabolical plan. And they will not stop until they own everything. Can you talk about the Wildlands Project a little bit? Well, sure, and I want to say, yeah, this is uh, not a conspiracy theory. This is a conspiracy fact because uh, Agenda 21 is a plan that was agreed to by the United States and 178 other countries in 1992, and it's not an American plan. This plan is all over the world. It's the same plan everywhere, no matter where you live, whether you're in Hanoi, Vietnam, or San Francisco, California, or London, England. It's the same plan. So the plan is two parts. It's smart growth, high-density development in cities, and it's also the Wildlands Project. 
which is to get you out of the rural areas so that, you know, the idea is so that animals can use those corridors and linkages to, um, you know, to move freely. But really what it's about is moving you out of those areas so that you will be less, less independent and more dependent on government. And the plan is essentially a major corporatocracy. It's a plan to erect a global totalitarian corporatocracy. And it's a global plan implemented locally. So you're gonna see it locally. But the global plan is to get you into a concentrated city, mega city center so that you can be kept off of the land and out of the areas where you can be independent. But Rosa, what if I don't want to go to a mega city? What if I like my land? What can I do about it? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, of course you're thinking to yourself if you're out there on your land, you're thinking nobody's getting me off my land. I've got my well, I've got my property, I can live independently out here. But um, the plan actually is designed so that um, mega corporations combined with major foundations and government are either zoning you out or regulating your well, your water usage, restricting your ability to use your land, restricting your ability to get to your land. So you find that, yes, in fact, you are being moved off of your property. You're not able to sell it. You're not able to use it. You're not able to get to it. And finally, eventually, the plan is to move everyone off the land and into mega cities where they will not have representative government, but instead will be controlled by unelected boards and regional commissions. Well, let's talk about very quickly those unelected boards and regional commissions. We're talking about those council of governments and those associations of governments. When I talk about the council of governments, nobody seems to understand what I'm talking about. Can you explain the dangers of these new regional governments that are emerging using our own city council members as members of these new regional governments? Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, you know, in a way they're not new because these were uh, the Council of Governments and the Metropolitan Planning Organizations. There are about 500 of these across the United States. And they used to just be used to, uh, to fund transportation projects locally, to funnel transportation money from the federal government to the local municipality. But now the thing that we haven't seen before, what's happening now, is that we're actually seeing a combination of restrictions on housing and location of housing in order to be able to get federal transportation dollars. So uh, what, what happens then is that when you have a city council member who is sitting on a council of government, which is an unelected board that determines where housing will be and where transportation dollars will be directed, this board is being used as a way to funnel people out of the rural areas and into these mega cities. And of course, your city council people and your county supervisors are not aware that they are part of a larger plan. Well, just 30 seconds left, Rosa. What can people do in their own communities? Well, I really encourage you, if you're hearing about this for the first time, please go to our website, which is uh, Democrats against UN Agenda 21.com and look at also globalization of California.com where we have videos for you so that you can see exactly what is happening in California and across the nation. Rosa, thank you so much. If you are traveling to Mississippi, you should probably leave your dog at home. I'll tell you why next, as I am joined by my grassroots citizens panel. We'll be back right after this.